Hello, my name is Paul Son Hyung Lee. I was born in Daejeon, South Korea, and immigrated to Canada in 1972. I live in many places in Canada, London, Ontario, Toronto, Ontario, Calgary, Alberta, and now back in Toronto, where I have two kids, one wife, and a dog. I work as an actor on a television show you may have heard about called Kim's Convenience, where I play the lead role of uh, Mr. Kim, a Korean immigrant who has uh, two kids, one wife, and a store. But some of you may not know, some of you may not know that the voice I'm using right now isn't my real voice. It's my character's voice. Now this, this is my real voice. No Korean Canadian accent, just a Canadian accent. Now to some people, Hearing me speak in my own voice is jarring. I've shifted their perception of who I am and stepped outside of the role they're used to seeing me play. Now, that's the thing about perception. It shapes expectations, and those expectations have a hand in shaping identity and reality in the roles we all play in life. Now, growing up, my parents said I could be four things, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, or a failure. In 1972, my parents immigrated to Canada, leaving behind family, friends, and respected careers to give my sister and I the opportunities they never had. They were both teachers back in Korea, but here in Canada, they had limited job options. My dad became a janitor, my mom a key punch operator. My parents had no choice in the roles that were available for them to play. They sacrificed their pride, started from scratch, put up with racism and inability to communicate and worked long, hard hours just to make ends meet. And after years of hard work, they created the opportunity to play new roles. They became small business owners. And my sister and I grew up working at my dad's restaurant and my mom's convenience store. But my parents' new roles still fit within the expectations that others had of them. Immigrants in Canada and all over the world are perceived in certain ways. And those perceptions shape expectations. And those expectations create limitations which shaped their identity and the reality. My parents wanted more for their children, so they pushed us to excel in school, made us take extra classes, and even moved us into better school districts. They wanted us to be able to choose the roles we played. So imagine how pleased they were when I told them I wanted to be an actor. I know, right? But that's because they didn't see any success stories of Asian actors in North America. And because they could see no opportunities for me, in their minds, I had chosen the role of a failure. And they were almost right. I mean, it was hard finding work because writers, producers, and casting agents only saw me as being capable of playing one type of role, Asian. Now, at best, these were supporting roles, never driving the narrative. Now, those roles, they were for the white actors. The task of the Asian character was to play the other, which meant you were either one, the bad guy, two, the butt of the joke, three, fetishized or exoticized. Now, popular culture was telling everyone that the role of the Asian character was to be either feared, made fun of, or fucked. But I was determined to be an actor, so I took a page from my parents' book. I swallowed my pride, and I took the roles that were available for me to play in order to create opportunities for later success. The unfortunate reality is that sometimes we have to play the roles that others expect of us so that we can one day reshape those expectations. I mean, you have to play the game to change it. My parents and so many generations of immigrants have reshaped the expectations people have had for the second generation. And so many trailblazing Asian actors like Sandra Oh and Daniel Day Kim have reshaped expectations people had for the next generation of Asian actors. 20 years later, when the opportunity to play the lead role on Kim's Convenience presented itself, I knew I needed to excel because this was probably gonna be my only chance to showcase my abilities, to change the perception and expectations placed on me and other Asian performers by writers, directors, producers, casting agents, even audiences. I've always said that as actors of color, we have to work five times harder than anyone else because though we have few opportunities to see, succeed, we have even fewer opportunities to fail. In 2017, I won the Canadian Screen Award for Best Lead Actor in a Comedy Series, my first ever award for acting. 
I won again in 2018, and the show won for best comedy series. And then a funny thing started to happen. As I did more and more press and publicity for the show, more and more people were shocked that I didn't actually speak with a Korean accent, that I wasn't actually the character I played on the show. People wanted to believe that Appa was real. I recently appeared on the Star Wars TV series, The Mandalorian, where I played Captain Carson Teva of the New Republic Starfighter Corps. Now, it's a role in something I've wanted to be a part of since I was five years old, a personal dream come true, and a tremendous accomplishment. And the response was overwhelmingly positive. People were ecstatic to see Appa in Star Wars. Not Paul Sun Young Lee, the actor. Appa from Kim's Convenience. My social media was flooded with messages. Mr. Kim in space. We kept waiting for you to say, okay, see you. Hey, who's watching the store, Appa? There's a snippet from an Eminem song called Without Me that comes to mind. I've created a monster because nobody wants to see Marshall no more. They want Shady, I'm chopped liver. Have you ever been in a role where people can't see you doing anything else? I, it's comforting to place people into familiar roles. And it can be just as easy to accept these roles and fulfill these expectations. But does it have to be that way? You know, a golden cage is still a cage. And I was starting to feel trapped by the very thing that was supposed to set me free. It was bewildering and frustrating. Now, not everyone gets to choose their roles. And for so many people, particularly immigrants and people of color, our choice of role is even more limited by the perceptions and expectations of others. What if my parents had stayed in the roles that they were forced to play when they first immigrated to Canada? What if I had kept playing the roles that the entertainment industry said I should play? We miss out on so much when expectations limit our collective potential. But how do we start to see each other for who we truly are? After all, being put in a box is easy, but breaking out of one is hard. I believe it starts with a shifting of our own perceptions. Let's free ourselves from the idea that we are beholden to what others expect of us. We can shape our identity and reality. Let's focus instead on our own expectations of ourselves based on who we are, where we've come from, and where we want to go. By leaning into what makes us unique and simply being ourselves, we can reinvent how others see us. For the longest time, I tried to push away my heritage in an effort to fit in but it's not until I embraced it that my professional and personal lives have flourished. And engaging fans in my true voice has been empowering. And instead of resenting people's recognition of me as Appa, I'm using it as an opportunity to direct them to my other interests. Uh, for example, I launched a YouTube channel called Bitter Asian Dude Inc., where I celebrate my passion for all things geeky. I mean, <laughs> you can't get any more different from Appa than that. But we also need to see others as well. Everyone deserves to have a chance to experience full identity and potential. We need to be mindful of falling into the easy trap of categorizing and filing people away in little boxes. So take the time to listen. Truly listen to others and consider what their story is and the roles they may want to play today and tomorrow. The role of Appa has been a part of my life for the last 15 years. And while I love him and I know him as intimately as myself, he remains just that, a role that I play. But I am much, much more. What role are you playing? How much more can you be? Thank you.